This is a very short message. And don't, don't bother with the background. It's a historic map, I know it. History is one of my big interests, as you already know, if you've, been, if you've been following this channel for a while. In this message, I just want to remind you of something. When you have people that simply refuse, I'm not talking that it's, difficult, it's a difficult thing for them to do. I'm talking about people that flat out refuse to let go of inconsistent, unhealthy thinking patterns. When you have such people, I'm telling you, keep them at a distance. I've said this multiple times already in other videos on this channel. Anyone that refuses to agree with Christ, they leave room in their soul for darkness. They leave room for demons that have access to them. And listen, those types of people, they'll become blind to their own refusal to let go of bad thinking patterns. So they will project all the frustration that will come out of those thinking patterns onto other people. They will project it onto circumstances. And such people will look for other people just like them to validate to validate them. That's how to form their cliques, or that's how to join cults. Why am I mentioning this to you? Because such people, as I mentioned before in this recording, they have allowed room inside of them to be accessed by evil spirits. And just think about this, okay? Don't just see them as people that are holding on to the past they're not willing to let go. Or don't hold don't just see them as people that they just have their views that they don't want to negotiate. Look at what it is. They those are people that don't want to give up. They are addicted to the validation of being right. They are addicted to the validation of accusing others. Of calling other people names they are addicted to looking down on others feel good about themselves they are addicted at, at i said before at accusing people at bring out allegations if needed they will fabricate things make things up just to get validated and such people when they have made up their minds that they don't like you that they don't want anything to do with you that they that they that when they've made up their mind against you because there are people who don't want to admit that they are wrong and never ever want to make amends to their way of thinking, they will begin to make up stuff just to get to you. And they will lie about you and they will manipulate people against you. They will even endanger your life just to get their validation. And if all of that fails, they'll lose it. They'll, they'll lose it in rage and people are going to get hurt. Once someone has, I would say, chosen the dark side by allowing darkness to have a place inside of them, I'm not saying they are possessed the moment that has happened, but from that moment on, demons can come and go to that individual. So demons can manifest one second and be gone for a week and then they can come again. And after a while, you get used to the weird behavior of that individual. You get used to their to them always speaking in the negative. You get used to them always suggesting that things are going to be wrong. You are used to them always bringing up the past. You get used to all of that. You, you become acclimatized to it. But it's demons working through them. And nevertheless, and as I mentioned before, they will keep they'll even make up stuff just to feel good about themselves. Tell the day. Because the day comes that the demons will leave them and they are left with all that waste energy and all those hurt emotions, all the tension. And that day they freak out and they do something that you think, what the heck is this? And then you begin to ask yourself, who is this individual? I don't know him or her. Is this even human behavior to behave like this? 
and it's then that your eyes will open, then that you will remember all the, then they will remember how their behavior escalated over time. What you didn't know is their behavior was escalating. I'm not recording this message to give you an excuse to just cut people off because you don't see any gain in those people. I'm not, I'm not advocating such behavior. I am telling you to be watchful. Look, I said keep them at a distance, so take your distance. I did not say to cut them off. I did not say to isolate yourself because you will have to hang out. No, it's nothing. You will have to deal with other people, even people that have bad thing patterns, but, just, but, but know the difference between someone that needs deliverance. And if you know that someone needs deliverance, don't try to fix them, okay? Don't. You might make it worse. But there's a difference between someone that needs deliverance and someone you need to be delivered from. People that have willingly given space to darkness inside of them, those are the people you need to be delivered from. All right? Just remember the difference between those two. It's a very, very big difference. No difference can save your life and the lives of those around you. That being said, be at peace.